Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel Just Chillin' About. Today Trav and I are doing something very exciting. We are doing another taste test video for you guys and we are going to be doing another Japanese candy taste test review. I think this is our third one that we've done. Is it? Sounds about right. Yeah, so we've gotten another bunch of stuff, have never heard of it, have never tried it and we're very excited. So shall we get straight into the video? Yeah, I think so it. too. All right, so our first one is one called Bake. Well, that's Bake and New. I think are the only two English words really on it. Yeah. The brand. <laughs> oh. Ooh. That smells. So that smells good. amazing. It's just like a little chocolate log looking thing. It smells almost like a chocolate brownie. Yeah. Ready? Mm -hmm. Cheers. Oh. It's so soft. It's so rich. That is really good. That is like a massive cocoa hit. It tastes like a semi-liquid brownie. Like it tastes yeah. just like a brownie. The cocoa is so strong. Yeah. I'm not a big chocolate person. Like I think I've told you before in videos, I don't really like eating chocolate. But that, I, I'm honestly going to have to start off by giving that a 10 out of 10. I think that's amazing. Wow. Okay. Yeah, that's so, big from me for chocolate, the 10 out of 10. Yeah. yeah, I really like that, so I'd go with a 9. Alright, the next one we're going to try is this, whatever this is. It's actually the same, same brand, brand as the yeah. other one, I just realised. Actually... What is that? Morin... Morinica? Morinica. Did you just Moranica? say Morinica? <laughs> it's Morinaga, not Morinica. Ooh, it's like in a little box Fancy. thing. So it comes in a little tin foil wrapper. And there's like heaps in a little box. I hope you guys can see that. It doesn't really have a smell though. It's a soft. It smells like butterscotchy though. You can um, Cheers. Push it. I'm not really getting any salt or any caramel. No. And I would call that butterscotch way, way, way over salted caramel. Um, the biggest fan of it. I mean, it would be a nice thing to have maybe once in a while or like a, ooh, have one of these. But. I wouldn't buy it again. Um, yeah, there's nothing special about it. I think I'm gonna have to give that one a four out of 10. I kinda like that. So I'd probably go with like a six. All right, so the next thing is this little sachet thing. Um, it has no real English words on it, on either side. Um, it does kinda look orangey. Like, that's about it, really, that I can tell from it. Oh, I can smell it. It's kind of just like a little jelly orange thing. It's very thin. Yeah, I'm quite interested to know what flavour this is, because... Oh, okay, that's harder than I thought. Mm. Is it orange? I'd say orange. I, I can't tell. It's very hard, like it's soft and chewy, but you can't really chew through it, if that makes any sense. I'd probably say like a 5 out of 10. I was going to say a 5 as well. The only reason why I wouldn't give it higher is just because of the texture of it. If it was chewier, like more gummy, then I'd yeah. definitely give it a higher rating. Um, because the flavour was fine. It yeah. wasn't great, it wasn't bad, but yeah. I, just I don't think know it, what it was though. Yeah. I think a 5 out of 10 is reasonable. <laughs> Alright guys, so this next one is a green tea one. And as we mentioned before, we do not do well with green tea. We've tried these kind of things before. They're kind of like little wafer sticks, but usually you get them with like strawberry coating or chocolate coating. This is the wafer sticks I'm assuming with like a creamy green tea texture inside is what I'm guessing it's gonna be. And I'm not looking forward to it. I'm at scared. All. <laughs> I don't think I want a whole one. I don't think I want to eat a whole one. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> oh no! Hold on, I need to open my water bottle. <laughs> oh, I can smell it. It's just like lingering now. Are you ready? Suppose. Oh. I remember it's a late hit. Ha! Ha! <laughs> it it kind of just tastes like tea. It's definitely not as bad as the other green tea stuff with her. I think because there's less green tea to wafer than that. Yeah, and I think also because I only had that much of it, but... Oh, you had heaps. <laughs> I think green tea is definitely not a flavour that we would eat. It's definitely not um, it's something that you would find here, really, in anything. Like, other than actually having a green tea. Love green tea, do not love that. Um, ooh, ooh, ooh. I think I'll give that one maybe a two and a half out of ten. Only because uh, I liked the wafer. <laughs> I'd 
Just not the yeah, game team. I'll go, I'll go three. I think it's definitely nowhere near as terrible as the what, other I stuff. what I thought it would be as well. I mm. thought it would be a lot worse. So. Yeah. Alright, so this is another little packagey thing that you can't really make out any words other than premium and new. Maybe it's what would great. You, what would you say that is? I think that's the thing of grapes, isn't it? it could be green grapes, but then I don't know what the inside's supposed to be, whether it's a gummy thing for green grapes. I don't know. Mm. We shall find out. Yeah, that's grapes. I was right, it is grape. It's green grape. Can't you really get green grape flavored things. Give me the grape. Oh. Okay, so it's like a little round bubble thing. It's quite soft. It's good to eat. Yeah. I feel like I've tried something like this before. Yeah, I quite like that. Mm. I think it's very different to anything we've had before because I don't think we really get green grape flavoured things. We no. always only get sort of purple. red purple <laughs> grapes. Yeah. I'll probably give that one a 7 out of 10, I think. Yeah, I think I'll go 7 as well. I think that's, yeah, that's a reasonable score for that. Mm -hmm. Alright, you guys, so we're going to taste the last thing now, and I'm so excited about this one. And it's this. I have no idea what it is exactly. I am just assuming that it's going to be some kind of spicy onion ring chip. I just realized down the bottom it's got five chilies, so I'm not sure if that's like a five out of five. I'm guessing it would be, but... You do realize the main picture is a chili. I know, <laughs> but I'm really excited to try this because we've only really tried like candy type stuff and this is more of a savory thing. Yeah, it's going to be like tiny. a chip. Oh, smell it. I am in love with the smell. I could give the smell a 10 out of 10. Oh, I think I got some in my eye. <laughs> Alright, so that's what it looks like on the inside. Exciting! Are you ready to try it? Yep. Do you want to try one or a couple? I'll start with one. In case it is really hot. Okay. Cheers! Does it look good at the top? It kind of tastes like spicy corn chips or hot corn chips. Mmm. Chili corn chips. I don't know. I really like them. They are spicy. They're not overly spicy, but they're definitely the spiciest chips I've ever tasted. Um, the yeah. flavour is not that strong though. Like I thought it would have a stronger, maybe tomatoey flavour. Um, yeah. Yeah. So the flavour is a little bit of a letdown, but it is spicy and they are nice. So in terms of like chips what I would rate them um, maybe a seven I would say a six because of the flavor but the spice I'll take it up to a seven out of ten yeah I'd say at least with the spice it gives it something um, so yeah I'm happy with a ten or ten or the seven <laughs> ten all right guys thanks so much for watching I hope you enjoyed our Japanese candy taste test if you did don't forget to give it a big thumbs up and let us know in the comments below what other countries or nationality type food you want us to try. Or if you enjoy the Japanese ones, let us know because I'm quite happy to keep trying Japanese stuff. I just really enjoy it. I don't know why, I guess because we have no idea what it is. And it's very different, I it's guess. It's different, yeah. yeah. And also don't forget if you want to see more of our videos to hit the subscribe button below and join our little channel so you can see what we get up to in our day to day lives and also watch us do some challenges and reviews and that kind of stuff so thank you again for watching and we shall see you in our next video bye mm -hmm.